Problem 40. In this problem statement, we have the ODE being y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equals 2t. Now, y homogeneous, in this case, can be assumed to be some e to the rt. Successive derivatives of this yields r e to the rt, and my homogeneous double prime equal to r squared e to the rt. Plug these into the equation above. We have r squared e to the rt plus r e to the rt minus 2 e to the rt equal to 0. Now we can safely assume that e to the rt never equals 0. And they can never divide by it and get rid of it in the super expression. So now we have r squared plus r minus 2 equals 0. Factoring this, we have r plus 2 and r minus 1. Solving for r, we have r equal to minus 2 and 1. We can therefore write y homogeneous of t to the a, e to the t, plus b, e to the minus 2t. That's not for y particular. Y particular can be assumed to be of the form similar to that of the forcing function here. Now because this forcing function is a linear function, we, can, we assume our guess to be equal to some constant times t plus d. We assume this because in the method of undetermined coefficients, whenever you have some t raised to the n power, as a forcing function, you assume the solution to be our solution, really our guess, to be a summation from n equals zero to n. Oh, n equals zero in order to have our indices correct to the power n of a sub m, some constant, times t to the m. Now this expression realized within this ODE, this problem, yields this right here, with a sub 0 being d and a sub 1 being c. The sets of derivatives of this function yields, for y prime in particular, equal to c and y prime, y double prime particular equal to zero. Plug this into the expression above in order to solve for c and d, we can find that c minus 2c t minus 2d equals 2t. We therefore have minus 2c equals 2 c minus 2d equals 0. This is simply gathering the constants on each side into their respective terms, multiplying their respective terms, t and some constants in this problem, and setting the constants on each side equal to each other. For t is minus 2c equal to 2, and for the constants, it is c minus 2d equal to 0. Solving for this, we have c equals minus 1 and d equals negative half. Plug this in back into our expression. We have y of t equal to a e to t plus b e to minus 2t minus t minus a half. However, in this problem, we also have initial conditions. And that would allow us to solve for A and B. Now, our initial conditions are 
y is 0 equals 0, y prime of 0 equals 1. Plug this into our expression for y of t and setting everything equal to each other. We have 0 equals a plus b minus a half. And doing the same thing for y prime of 0, we have a minus 2b minus 1 equals 1. Solving for a and b, we get a equals 1, b equals a negative half. So now our full expression for y of t can be written. y of t equals e to t plus a negative half e to the minus 2t minus t minus one half.